Good morning, lovelies. Hope you're all well. It's the 1st of July, the start of the second half of the year. Let's see how it goes, shall we? <laughs> I was talking uh, with my dad the other day and we were talking about something that had happened. He said, was that a couple of months ago? And I said, no, I don't think so, because a couple of months ago we were in lockdown. And he said, oh, yeah, and it's, it's a sense because we've been spending a quarter of the year waiting for something to change. It's almost like that time didn't happen. It's it's all very odd. But I hope you're OK. I hope you're keeping well. And today I have two ceremonies in two different locations, so I shall be zipping around the countryside. They're both journeys we've done before, so... Um, and also the weather's OK-ish, but not great, so probably won't uh, record the journeys because they ain't going to be that exciting, I'm afraid. Yes, it's uh, it's odd to think that we're halfway through 2020 already. So bizarre. Anyway, it's OK. We're all fine. And if we're not OK, it's OK not to be OK. And the seagulls are singing. They always are here. <laughs> well, lovelies, here's the first ceremony. Um, it's a breezy day here in the cemetery. But hopefully it will all go smoothly. I think we're only expecting a very small attendance. Um, so we'll, we'll see how things go. I shall catch up with you shortly. Well, I'm here at the second crematorium. It's been funny weather. Had a bit of rain on the windscreen. I've had sunshine so bright I needed my sunglasses. I've had dark clouds. Welcome to England in the summer. I think we had our summer in the spring, didn't we? Uh, but not a not a bad journey. All fairly smooth and straightforward. So I'm here nice and early, getting on with some crochet and uh, listening to a book and just waiting for the next ceremony. The one due just before it starts in a couple of minutes, so I've got plenty of time. Hey Hello lovely people. Cheers. Oh, I hope you're okay. It's a sunny day now himself has been out mowing and strimming and doing general mowing and lawn stuff. I'll let him get on with it. Hope you're okay. Hope you've had a good day. Uh, second ceremony seemed to go well. Lots of family members speaking and not always easy for them, but they all got through it. So that was all good. And yeah, that's kind of it today. I've made a bread pudding, or at least I'll put it in the oven when I cook dinner. I don't eat bread pudding, but himself does, and we had some bread to use up, so it made sense. Oh, I'm such a domestic goddess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even aspire to that one. I don't. No. no. So I hope you're all having a good day, and that life is treating you well, and that the weather is treating you well, because I know some, some of you lovelies have had very hot times and very cold times, and... Uh, I hope that you're able to keep comfortable. Oh. Right, just going through the messages from yesterday's uh, podcast and uh, vlog rather, and always thank you so much for the messages. This is from Jill from Bertie and Poppet, and I hope you don't mind, Jill. I'm just going to read it as is so that everyone can know what's going on. Um, so I thought theater, the theatre lovers amongst us and Shakespeare fans in particular might enjoy something my daughter is involved in called The Show Must Go Online. Let's see what you did there. Each week, an international cast of professional actors perform one of Shakespeare's plays via Zoom from their own homes, which is live streamed via YouTube. They are being performed in the order in which they were written. The live stream starts at 7pm BST every Wednesday, and then the whole thing is saved on YouTube to be watched any time afterwards. So all the plays done so far are there. 
Each play starts with an introduction from one of the many different experts on Shakespeare and there is a post-show discussion with the expert and cast. And then she puts the link uh, to the channel, which I will put in the notes below. I've been enjoying them immensely, including learning about lesser performed plays that I was unfamiliar with. I hope some of your viewers will like them too. Jill, thank you so much. That is really kind of you to let us know about that. So I will put the link in the notes. And how exciting that your daughter's involved in it. Does that mean she's famous? I'm so shallow. No, I just think that's great. So thank you so much. Well, lovelies, um, it's gone six o'clock, so I better wrap this up because it's a uh, virtual knit night tonight, hopefully. But I hope everyone's doing OK and that you are keeping well and safe. I know in some places in the world the COVID numbers are going down and down and in others they're not. So I just hope you can all keep safe. Look after yourselves. Thank you very much. And I will see you again tomorrow. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.